and here we go. Anthony Foley once again leads Munster out. He's not the captain. A couple of matches ago, he led them out when he got his 100th cap for Munster. Today, he plays his 50th match for Munster in the Heineken Cup. Munster have played 51, and he's played in every one except one a long time ago against Harlequins. We can hardly hear the whistle. The din and the is so deafening, and Foley straight into the action. He run 10 or 12, crashes into Delport inside the 22 still. Well, there's certainly going to be skin and hair flying for the first 20 minutes here. Everybody up for this. You could see it on the faces of the Munster team as we watched them in that little huddle before they came in. That's a great drive. In goes Paramore to try and stop it, but Munster still managed to go forward. And there's the release to Holland. Holland wrapped up by Todd. Reasonable, reasonable. Still outside the 22 and a turnover to Gloucester. Back, back. Fiddler number four, Gamasol. Here's Azam. George Hook rates him as one of the unsung heroes in the French team. And there's a knock-on. It might be a deliberate knock-on. The ref Not says no, and Jim Williams lucky to get away with that, Ralph. Great start. Be careful, Charles, in and don't forget again, well, Marcus Horan is stopping Horan. against yes. the Lions. Hooker, Phil Vickery, played in all three tests. Horan did very well first time around. There's the little short side effort. Kelly, wrapped up by Paramore and Buxton. A good feed, back again, good possession. And now it's time for O'Gara to test Henry Paul. And that's a good ball. It makes the fullback have to go for it. And up comes Mullins. Mullins. Couldn't quite hold him, but the other centre, Jason Holland, does. And look at this, the hand is up from the referee. There's a badge being played here. What a wonderful chase and a wonderful kick by O'Gara. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, not quite to the line yet, and they may lose it. And they have, but the advantage there was none to Munster. And the turnover won't count to Buster, so it's penalty to Munster. And that was a brilliant Gary Owen by Ronan O'Gara. It made the fullback run all over the pitch. Gara is going to go ahead with this. Marcus Horan still on the ground. Absolute silence. On its way, and the flags are up, and Munster are in front. And we've had eight minutes and 22 seconds of the first half. One great attacking kick from Ronan O'Gara. And certainly, if Munster need a big game, they need it from him today. It'll be all right for the Munster cause. It's a good start, because Holland has to get out of the way. Gloucester are appealing that there was obstruction there, but there it goes down to Mossy Lola. It's another good kick. Let's see how Paul handles this one. He got good purchase out of that. Fanalou is there. Mercier is outside him. A chase for Del Tor and cleverly trapped by Jeremy Staunton. That's good play by the fullback. Looking for O'Driscoll again. O'Callaghan this time. Now Quinlan. Holland, Holland once again taking the ball flat and almost standing still. O'Gara, Mullins, Mullins is through, one man to beat. He's through again and here's Foley, will he make it again? To the line, the ref can't decide, he may not have got it over. But we're still playing, still playing, Stringer can see it. It is held up, says the ref, and that's very bad luck for Munster. Foley's great strength almost took him there. Let's just have another look at it again. The great burst through by Mike Mullins. He pulled to meet. Paul stood his ground. Foley was there with three of them hanging out of him. And the ref's decision was good. He didn't make it and he was on his back. The decision is scrum again. Listen to the crowd. And the first 17 minutes of this match have just flown by. Here it is. 8 to 14, Kelly, Kelly! Wow, what a try! Now, let's see what happens. Peter Stringer to feed. Foley holds it. Stringer, not waiting for the advantage. There's O'Gara, there's no room there, and he's nobody in support. Has to let it go, they're right under the Gloucester posts here. Men left and right. The forwards trying to do it themselves. There's Stringer. There's Stolton. Knocked forward. Here's Quinlan. Oh, it's frenetic stop. The arm is up once again. I think there's a scrum going to Munster, but the ref will play advantage, and there's advantage there. There's Staunton once again. Had no hope really of getting through there. There's now Sheehan. Sheehan might have with the feed from O'Driscoll. It's right. Ends off, ends off. It's right. Stringer can see it once more. Can they do it? A little chip through into the corner. It must be. 
Yes, it is a try. Mossy Lawler gets it after a moment's hesitation. And what a beautiful little chip through. And Mossy Lawler gets the second try. There may still be time for the third before half time. We've had four minutes of added time. Look at the referee who finally blows his whistle after five minutes and two seconds of added time. And that's a comfortable decision for Munster to be in. They didn't get the three tries I was hoping they might get, but they got two, and they got two penalties as well. And so, at half-time, it's Munster 16, Gloucester 6, and two penalties from Ludovic Mercier. Joel Luge says OK to, and Ronan O'Gara. No breeze, really. That's a nice little rob by Alan Quinlan from Rob Fiddler. And already, Munster picking up where they left off. He was knocked out of O'Gara's hands, and here's Lawler. Might have been a deliberate knock-on. The referee's arm is semi-up. No advantage at all. O'Callaghan at two. O'Driscoll takes at four. O'Callaghan takes on the peel, and around comes Quinton. Now, in goes Williams. The blue shirts are there. It's good protection, though, for, for Stringer. And here's Mullins trying to charge through, but Mercier was there along with Todd. That's a good drive once again. It's all over the place, but Munster have retained possession. And Frankie Sheehan driving forward. He really has got a lot, a lot of strength, this fellow. Very solid player. Look at this for a drive by Munster in the first couple of minutes. Almost to the line. That Packer playing brilliantly. Advantage to Munster being played here. There could be seven points. No, there isn't. That won't work. This is a mark. Push it along. Wait, wait. English. Gomeshaw was man of the match when they played in King's home and really so far he hasn't had much of, uh, of an impact on this game. The thing has turned 90, scrum monster once again, the wedge has worked, excellent play. Well that is super stuff for Munster and super stuff for Marcus Horn on Phil Vickery, the Lions tight head, driving him around. Of course he had the assistance of John Hayes probably pulling his man. But uh, Marcus Horn, who's having a fine game on Phil Vickery, again driving into him hard and letting him know he's in Thoman Park. Good stuff. Quindon and Foley there as well. Each throw has been good from Sheehan today. There's Mullins, crash ball, just needs one. Okay. Reasonable, reasonable. in pretty quickly. Stringer there picking it out. And once again, a rifle behind the winger and fullback. And it's hot wonderfully well for Ronan O'Gara that's a magical kick well he hasn't kicked as well as this from the hand for a long time and he's giving his forwards a huge boost now at last might have been knocked on by John Hayes cleared by Gomerso it's a tricky one but right into Kelly's hands and Munster are away again here's O'Gara here's Holland now there is a bit of a gap here and there's Mullins now he's got Lawler outside him he's got Holland inside him must release though Ref there very quickly indeed. So the Munster pack, but the, most of the Munster pack are way out in the middle of the field. The big men are there. Hayes and Williams and Sheehan. And they're under the Gloucester post once again. Quick feed here to O'Gara. Holland has to go back in for support, I think. And finds it. Now, as you said, Ralph, patient possession. Oh, oh. I wonder what Roncero was doing there. Trying to get back, ref. Here's Stringer. Quick feed back inside to Sheehan. It's all right, we're away, we're away! We're Stringer away. again, this is possession going the fifth phase. O'Gara took his eye off it. Now, here's the kick, and it's meant for Mick O'Driscoll. If it hops well for him, it will be a try. Surely, unquestionably, and what a lovely kick. A kick by Mullins into the corner, and there was Mick O'Driscoll scoring his first try in the Heineken Cup, and Munster now have scored three. It's not over yet, but just look at this. Roman O'Gara actually took his eye off this. And he missed it completely. And it was Jason Holland, actually, for the second time of the match, setting up a try. Look at that. All he had to do was to hold it. But he was in the right place, and that's why he was there. Super stuff, and a fantastic thinking out of Jason Holland again. A beautifully placed kick. And I don't know, Mick O'Driscoll must have been worried when that ball was hanging in the air. Please come down. It did, and he finished the move. It's on its way, and it's there! With the most difficult kick of the afternoon, that is a marvellous conversion. 
30 seconds plus and I think I heard him say maybe two minutes and I wonder is what happened in uh, the cup final last year going Mr. Jutes through Jutes mind now in the back here we are Neil back. Holland Mullins now this is where they need to drive they've got it they've got the drive going five meters four meters three two one can the ref give it now it's come out Staunton wriggling his way to the post and right on the post there are three there it must be a try yes it is a second try for John Kelly now it's all there for the taking as Gloucester picked themselves up from underneath their own posts the patient build up the professional play of all of Munster there brought them to the try I'd like to be anywhere else Jim but in Ron Lagara's shoes now he has kicked some massive goals for Munster over the last four or five years. Saracens in off the post comes to mind readily on this very ground. He now has the opportunity to put Munster through. A minute to go. Just needs all his powers of concentration. Whew. It's away. And it's on target, and the flags are up, and Munster have got the lead, they want it. 27 points the difference now. Munster 33, Gloucester 6, Gloucester haven't scored in the second half, and we have, by my reckoning, about 20 seconds of play left. Well, if you had scripted this, Jim, nobody, but just nobody, would have believed it was possible. And I can tell you, Munster will not be standing around their own half for too long from this kickoff. It will be kick the letter off it and keep it as far away from your own goal as possible. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds left. Reasonable, fact, reasonable. There aren't any now. We've now crossed the 42 minute mark. Okay, okay, and once again, okay, Stringer at the base of everything. Use it, waiting. Use it. And O'Gara is there. He'll kick it out of play. It's out of play. All eyes on the ref this time. I think he wants to play on the ref. Looking at his watch, he said 42 minutes. Stop on his hands. It's over. And Munster have done the impossible. Who could have believed this against a side who are going so well like Munster? That is probably the best performance Munster have ever put up. That is an amazing performance by Munster. And they all deserve to be man of the match. The country awaits. The nation listens. Well, Coleman Park now joins. Fatima, Knock, uh, and Lourdes. I think the lame will come here and walk. They'll be selling water from here. This defies logic.